Every year, there's a truckload of new guns introduced. Some represent nothing but small changes to existing models, and some are new guns altogether. The new 9mm crop for 2024 is no different, including more tweaks, upgrades, and introductions than most folks would want to know about. So we comb through this sea of options with an eye toward highlighting the newest and best 9mm handguns of the year. So let's get right into it. The R7 Mako Tactical is a pistol built to deliver all the features for the modern-day defensive-minded firearms owner. The polymer frame features molded stippling for a solid grip in all conditions. It's a unique design that provides a good purchase on the gun without being too aggressive. The polymer frame also makes the pistol lightweight, coming in at 19.5 ounces unloaded. Measuring a mere 1 inch wide, the M7 Mako Tactical is slender and easy to conceal. The tactical model shares its core DNA with the standard R7 Mako, but is equipped with a threaded barrel for suppressor use and is available in two variations, the Optic Ready or Optic Included, the latter of which comes with the factory-mounted Holosun 407K Red Dot Optic. With a pull weight of 5 to 6.75 pounds, Kimber's performance flat face trigger breaks crisp and clean with a good reset. The pistol ships with two extended 15-round magazines instead of the standard 10 or 13-round magazines. Founded in 2023, Oracle Arms turned heads with its radical new pistol, the 2311. In short, it's a hammer-fired pistol that incorporates some 1911-style features and controls, but in the shape of a more modern striker-fired pistol. And it uses six-hour double-stack magazines instead of the more expensive 2011 mags. The new Compact Pro model features some upgrades such as optional muzzle porting, a modular magwell that can be configured to accept 15-round or 17-round magazines. It also includes an enhanced flat-shoe trigger that'll break at 3.5 to 4 pounds. I had a chance to shoot this pistol at range day, and an excellent trigger and porting helped make it an ultra-flat shooting pistol. Budget 2011 style double stack 1911 pistols have been coming out of the woodwork as of late, and this Turkish import aims to provide shooters with a sub $1,000 model. The TSIS Night Stalker SF borrows a lot of 2011 features, such as the short frame and polymer grip module that includes the trigger guard. It has ambidextrous safety levers, tall sights, and is cut for an RMSC footprint optic. The muzzle comes threaded for a suppressor and the frame and slide are finished with a gray Cerakote-type coating. The TSIS Night Stalker SF DS9, compatible with other 2011 magazines, and carries the same basic feature set 2011 pistols like the Staccato P have. But I would not expect it to perform the same as a finely tuned pistol that costs three times as much. If it manages to function reliably and shoot okay, this could be a good entry-level double-stack 1911. B&T makes some of the coolest tactical guns on the market, including the unique and super quiet Station 6. Though most of their guns are proprietary, one of the coolest pistols that they're bringing to market this year is the Glock 19 Hush Puppy. The pistol is a Gen 5 G19 that B&T has done some small but really cool updates to. First, the gun comes as a package with an ultra-short 9mm suppressor. In normal operation, they say that this can isn't as quiet as a run-of-the-mill 9mm can, but the last key feature changes that. They designed and installed a simple slide locking switch that keeps the slide from going back when the round is fired, making the gun shockingly quiet. Toggling the switch is simple and easy. The whole package is about the size of a Glock G34 and could still realistically be concealed carried. Guys, here's the new benchmark in pure performance for the compact pistol category. The CZ Shadow 2 Compact has many of the features of the Shadow 2 upgrades to the CZ 75. This includes an extended frame dust cover that has an M1913 Picatinny rail machined into it, a higher beaver tail, undercut trigger guard, and checkered front and back straps. The manual safety lever is bilateral, and the magazine release can be placed on either the right or left side. The trigger's lightened with a shorter reset. Grips are machined out of aluminum. Sights are front post with fiber optic insert combined with a click adjustable for elevation and drift adjustable for windage rear that uses a serrated notched blade. The Shadow 2 Compact uses the same optics mounting plate system as the full-size Shadow 2. While the original Shadow 2 had a longer slide and barrel than a standard CZ75, the Shadow 2 Compact goes in the opposite direction. The cold hammer forged barrel is shortened by 0.89 inches to 4 inches. 
The overall height shrinks from 6.18 inches to 5.4 inches. Capacity's 15 rounds. At 30.69 ounces, the forged 7075 aluminum frame compact model weighs a full pound less than the full-size steel frame Shadow 2. This bad boy has an MSRP of $1,299. The Archon Type B isn't new, but let's face it, they haven't been easy to acquire. The Gen 2 design incorporates the best features of the Gen 1, along with a few new design elements to modernize the platform. At its core, the barrel height is still very low, resulting in a lowered muzzle rise and less felt recoil to the end user. This translates to faster, more accurate shots on target, the gun is now optics ready, which will help you benefit from all low recoil and fast follow-up shots. The Archon Type B Gen 2 uses RMSC cut on their guns. These optics sit low enough that you won't need suppressor height sights to co-witness through the optic. Sights are expensive, and I don't want to spend another Benjamin on iron sights. The ergonomics are spot on, and the gun feels great in your hands. It's a solid little shooter, and I'm excited that PTR's taken over the import and even the production of the Archon Type B Gen 2. A company renowned for its rifles has branched out into handguns with a reimagined design. With the thinnest profile and lowest bore axis in its class, the Daniel H9 is designed and engineered to give shooters more control for faster, flatter shooting. While sharing the ergonomics, pointability, and straight pull trigger with the classic 1911, the Daniel H9 has everything demanded of a modern striker-fired handgun, like ambidextrous controls, an accessory rail, optics compatibility, and more. Contributing to the handgun's slimness is a 15-round double-stack magazine, which is among the thinnest in the industry. The aircraft-grade aluminum grip keeps the H9 exceptionally durable and surprisingly lightweight, and as with every Daniel, it's all built around a cold hammer-forged barrel for unparalleled precision. Of course, the H9 is designed to accommodate many popular red dot optics as well, but the sights it comes with will do the job putting shots on target and can stand up to most any paces you put the H9 through. Canik just upped its game in a big way. The Canik TTI Combat leverages a partnership with Terran Tactical Innovations for an upgraded variant on the popular Canik platform and this one absolutely impressed. It comes out of the box ready for anything you wish to throw at it, from USPSA to concealed carry. The heart of the Canik TTI combat is the new polymer frame. It features a redesigned competition magazine well and double undercut trigger guard, aggressive grip texturing, redesigned interchangeable back straps and changeable magazine releases add a distinctive look and utility. An ambidextrous slide release, Picatinny rail, and a flat-faced 90-degree trigger stand out. A bronze Cerakote over black nitride finish makes for a striking blaster. On top of the pistol incorporates front and rear cocking serrations. The 4.6-inch barrel comes fluted and rides within a ported slide. A removable barrel compensator features a proprietary quick-locking, unlocking system. The optics-ready pistol also works with the Mechanic MO3 and Trijicon SRO. An adjustable blacked-out rear sight and fiber-optic front sight provide a backup to optics. In true Canic fashion, the pistol ships with a custom TTI combat holster and two 18-round magazines. A Terran Tactical Innovations Plus 3 base pad extension should get shooters up and running. A sped loader, three backstrap options, a cleaning kit, and commemorative challenge coin all come in a Canic hard travel case. Billed as the next-generation Cabot 1911, the Insurrection is Cabot Gun's first double-stack M1911-style handgun, chambered in 9mm Luger and compatible with all STI magazines currently on the market. The design elevates Cabot's class-leading build quality to the popular double-stack format, giving M1911 fans extra capacity, along with the company's highly regarded aesthetic and functional touches. Feature-rich and with plenty of customization options available, the Insurrection includes a 5-inch match-grade hand-fitted stainless steel barrel with fluted hood cuts, Cabot's proprietary Advantage Extractor, a stainless steel slide with window cuts, 3.5-pound trigger, ledge rear sight and fiber-optic front sight, and optional barrel porting. The frame also includes a Picatinny accessory rail. Additionally, for a $1,095 upcharge, the slide will be cut for optics and equipped with a Trijicon SRO red dot sight. The pistol ships with two 17-round magazines and 20-round magazines are also available. The price for this bad boy starts at $5,995.
Based on the proven Walther PDP pistol, but with the addition of a precision machined steel frame and other new features, the PDP match steel frame significantly tames recoil, delivering full smoothness in every shot. The core of the Walther PDP match steel frame is a precision machined all steel frame that's built to endure the harshest conditions, with the weight to significantly tame recoil and delivering a smooth, precise shot. In addition to the steel frame, there's Walther's dynamic performance trigger for a smooth and consistent trigger pull. The grip panels are removable and replaceable by the user, and the front and rear of the frame has Walther's performance duty texture for a secure non-slip hold in almost any condition. The optics-ready design of the PDP match steel frame uses the Walther plate mounting system so you can customize your sighting system, and there are serrations at the front and rear of the skeletonized slide for an improved grip during gun manipulations. The extended magazine well and aluminum base pads work together to streamline magazine changes. The PDP steel match ships with two 20-round and one 18-round magazine, and there's an option for 10-round magazines for states with magazine restrictions. MSRP for the Walther PDP Match Steel Frame 9mm Pistol is $1,899. One of the best handguns to come out in some time, the fourth iteration of the Smith & Wesson Spec Series is based on the company's M and P9 metal chassis. Upgraded features integrated into this Performance Center Spec Series pistol include a 4.8-inch threaded barrel with attached Paxson-designed compensator to mitigate felt recoil and muzzle rise, along with optics-ready slide with aggressive serrations and lightning cuts to reduce weight and improve reliability while being compensated. Additionally, there's an enhanced sear for a lighter, crisp trigger let off, suppressor height sights, and OD green Cerakote finish. The Smith & Wesson Performance Center m and 9 Metal M2.0 Spec Series ships in a custom hard case and includes two 23-round magazines, two 17-round magazines, Core plate system for mounting optics, a carambit style knife, and custom M&P Spec Series Challenge coin. This pistol fits in the box defined by Gaston's most popular creation, the Glock 19. Striker fired and polymer framed, its 15 plus 1 capacity puts it in the wheelhouse of what's popularly thought of as the sweet spot of serious carry guns. But the guys from Grand Power have their own way of doing things, and this handgun is a reflection of that design philosophy. One of the first things that stands out upon picking up the gun is that indefinable fit in the hand. All the controls are fully ambidextrous, and the MK23 version updates the design with aggressive slide cuts and out-of-the-box optics-ready capabilities. The Q1 boasts an all-steel internal frame machined from a single piece of steel, and the same applies to the slide. The pistol also features a smooth trigger with a flat face trigger shoe and an integrated safety, offering a short travel and positive tactile reset. Combined with the rotating 3.7 inches barrel, the result is a very accurate and smooth shooting pistol. The rotating barrel reduces recoil impulse because it remains on the same axis while the pistol cycles. And the barrel's rotation absorbs some of the energy, resulting in a noticeable reduction in felt recoil and muzzle flip. The GPQ-1 is a competent carry gun option and one we'd feel comfortable sticking in a holster as part of our EDC. This 9mm semi-automatic tactical pistol is designed to be the ultimate mission-ready firearm. The Live Free Armory aluminum match-grade pistol was designed by a team of engineers, competitive shooters, and law enforcement with the purpose of developing the ultimate mission-ready pistol that they would depend their own life on. The fire control unit is precision CNC machined out of heat-treated 416 stainless steel. This design allows for the rails to be machined perfectly to reduce any unnecessary play seen in many traditional firearms. The skeletonized 1911 angled grip frame allows for custom and aftermarket grip panels to modify for an intuitive and reliable grip. The amp slide is machined with step quad windows and deeper serrations on the slide to enhance grip, reduce weight, and improve cycling speed. The slide comes standard with an RMR optic cut to directly mount a sight without cumbersome plates or adapters. The match-grade nitrided fluted barrel is honed, burnished to an 8-micron finish, and rifle cut for unparalleled accuracy. The trigger, barrel, slide, sights, and most internals are Glock compatible, whether it be giving you the next competitive edge on the field or the security you need for home defense, the amp is ready for any mission. There's officially a new Glock model on the market that's largely a response to hacks Glock fans and concealed carriers have been making for years. 
People have been modding the more compact Glock 19 grip to work with a full-sized and full barrel of a Glock 17 and use 15-round G19 mags for years now. That essentially is what the new Glock 49 is. The result of its full-size slide compact frame is a pistol with an overall length of 7.95 inches with a 4.49-inch barrel and a height of 5.04 inches, yielding a longer barrel and sight radius with a grip that's easier to conceal. It weighs 22.4 ounces. Magazine capacity is 15 rounds using standard Glock 19 size magazines and models with 10 round magazines are available for those who live in areas with magazine capacity restrictions. Why do people want this? Well, the part that you worry about printing on a concealed carry pistol isn't a long slide, but a big grip. And many people consider the G19 the perfectly sized handgun. But a longer slide and barrel are advantageous for accuracy and squeezing all the performance possible from a 9mm defense round. The Glock 49 Moss Tallow Edition has an MSRP of $745. The next generation of M17 and M18 is here, delivering all the performance and reliability that made the M17 and M18 the choice of the U.S. military, now outfitted with the most advanced X-Series features. The M17X and M18X pistols each include a factory-mounted Romeo M17 red dot optic featuring a ruggedized aluminum housing, a spirit glass lens for zero distortion, and is fully enclosed and sealed for ultimate protection from the elements. This pistol also features an X-Series Coyote tan grip module with extended beaver tail, aggressive grip stripling, and deeper undercuts for greater control. The X-Series grip module is also fitted with a magwell extension for faster and more accurate reloads. Finally, an X-Series flat blade trigger provides another welcome upgrade. 